Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! I've mentioned previously in Rochelle's face-up video how much I love the haunted line. Today, I thought I would give Kiyomi a new face. Er, she's a faceless ghost, so I suppose I'll just give her a face. Using acetone with Q-tips and tissues, let's wipe off the factory paint. Spin the Q-tip and use scooping motions to take it off quickly without smearing it around. When it's off, wipe down the whole face with a damp cloth. The sculptors for Monster High gave her a defined lash line as opposed to just painting it on. That's interesting. Next, to secure the hair out of the way. I found that cutting a slit into a square scrap of fabric and safety pinning it around the head is a very effective way to mask it off. Plus it's reusable, so less waste. Before I even spray her with sealant, I'm going to blush her face with Mungyo Soft Pastels. All the materials I use in this video will be listed below. The pastels are pigmented enough where I can get a free layer of color without relying on the sealant to provide tooth to the plastic. Erase and fix any edges with a kneaded eraser. Now I'm going to seal her. Mr. Superclear in particular is tricky stuff. For best results, try to spray on a cool, dry day. But I don't like to wait for the weather to make dolls, so I just do it no matter what and hope for the best. I sprayed the doll about a foot away with two or three quick light mistings, enough to make the face a little shiny but not too much. With the doll and fumes outside or in a ventilated area, let her dry for 30 minutes. Using watercolor Faber-Castell pencils, I sketch in the shapes of her eyes. It might interest you to know that this is the first time I'm remaking a previous face-up of mine. Once upon a time, long before I started my YouTube channel, I did sell a fair amount of dolls through Etsy and Store Envy, and one of those was a Kiyomi. Because the Haunted line is one of my favorites, I actually really miss that doll, so it's about time I make a duplicate for myself. That was two years ago, so let's see how and if I have improved. Also, if the owner of that Kiyomi is watching this video, please leave a comment below because that would be really cool. With the basic eye line, water line, eye creases, and pupil sketched out, I'm going to spray the face again with MSC. If your pencils start slipping or colors aren't building, that's when you need to add more sealant. I want to change the shape a little bit from the original, but I'm fighting with that 3D eyelash sculpting. Make sure to keep those pencils nice and sharp! From here on out, it's basically darkening the lash line, brightening the eye whites, and saturating the other colors. She was looking a little bored, so I tried to turn up the corners of her lips into a smile. <laughs> Come on, Kiyomi, don't you want to face up? Taking a white pencil, I highlight edges of the design, like under the eyebrows, on the cupid's bow of the lips, and around the corners of the eyes. For some ghostly pizzazz, add some micro glitter to the face. In this case, I think the sparkle makes her feel more ethereal. There always comes a point in a face up where I can't build up any more saturation with just pencils, so I turn to acrylic paints to finish the job. Maybe other artists can do it with just pencils, but I'm too cheap with my sealant usage, so... With a slightly watered down mixture, I'm going to darken her lipstick color and the wings of her eyeliner. We're also going to brighten the whites of her eyes and bring out that pink kabuki mask inspired detail under the eyes. Lastly, I'm going to bring more detail and a subtle color variation to the pupils, giving her a mint green dot over here and the main highlights too. So kawaii! I almost forgot, but taking a pencil again, I draw on the bottom eyelashes. And darken the pupils a little more so that the face-up feels balanced.
More sparkle! When you're satisfied, spray the doll one last time. While she's drying, let's spruce up her outfit. Taking acrylic paint again, pick out details you like in the accessories to make them more interesting. It's especially fun to do this with the older Monster High dolls, because the sculpting on the accessories is so good that it doesn't take much to make it shine. Plus it's really fun and easy. When the 30 minutes are up, the final touch for the face is to add shiny texture. I like to paint it on the lips and a small portion of the eyes. In this case, the waterline. The only reason I don't coat the entire eye is because that makes the doll harder to photograph. And with that, Kiyomi's makeover is complete! It was sort of an afterthought, but I also hot glued pearls and beads to parts of her outfit for a few more sparkles. I think it looks cute. I made Rochelle's face without using any Mr. Super Clear, so click the link at the end of the video to see how I did that. What do you think about Kiyomi's new face? Because she is such a clean slate to begin with, I feel like artists can really interpret her in different ways. Whether you enjoy customizing dolls yourself or just like seeing the process, thank you all so much for watching. Give Kiyomi's face a thumbs up and subscribe to see more toy customs! Stay artsy! Annyeong!